I recently received from Elle, who watches the channel, a couple of these kits. They're resin printed parts. And some of you are going to recognize it instantly. It's the Uncertain T. And he makes a resin kit of the car, engine interior, and the wheels. And he sent me a couple of these sets. And I'm going to build one of these sets. Uh, I hope to get to that soon on the channel. And I'm going to be giving the other set away. He sent the extra set as a giveaway. And uh, so I'll be doing that. And I'll mention more of that when I do the build video. These are they are just so well done. It's a beautiful little uh, set, a beautiful little kit that he's made. And I'm really looking forward to building this. Uh, he sells it on eBay. And you can also reach him on his Instagram account, which there's his Instagram account. <laughs> but I will be putting links in the video to both his eBay and uh, Instagram accounts. So if you want to find out more about the kit, you can directly from him. And uh, as I said, I will be giving one of these away and I will be building the other one. So this should be fun. It's so cool. And yeah, it has a sticker set that goes with it and everything. So really well done. So I'm really looking forward to this. Thanks, Al. I, I really appreciate uh, you sending this to me and giving me one to give away. That's fantastic. I really appreciate it. So uh, thanks. I got a package in the mail from Mike Espo. And uh, he told me one part of this that he was sending. I got the packing stuff out of the way, but I haven't opened them yet. Uh, to Jim, wanted to send you a car or some cars, but I know you have a lot of cars. So enjoy a 1997 Glycerin car. They're fun to open and see what you get. I'm really looking forward to this. Mike's done some on his channel. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm curious what kind of state this thing's going to be in once I get it out of the soap. Enjoy some vintage reading material. Ha ha. One custom car built by me and, and gloves to be safe with. Well, why would I want to be safe? Oh, I guess when I use the soap. Mike Espo. God bless. Thank you, Mike. Let's see here. What do we have? We have some tape. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is the soap car. The antibacterial glycerin formula toy inside matchbox <laughs> wet soap lather and rinse toy inside is safe for ages three and up or 20 times that age available collect all six cars available in glycerin bar soap bath bubbles tear free shampoo and body wash yeah I'm you can kind of see the car in there. It, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to show me actually washing it out of this thing. Maybe I'll show, you, show it being thrown into a tub of water, but I got to get it out of this thing before I can do anything with it. So we'll do that. Let's see. What's in here? This must be the one he built. So it's bagged up. <clears throat> Wrapped in protective here. Oh, yeah. That's the custom he did. That's cool. Dotson 6, 620? That's no, a little Dotson pickup. Got to say, this brings back some memories of, dear Lord, me driving a little tiny Datsun pick. I'm 6'1", in case anybody's curious. and I had to drive a little Datsun mini pickup like this one back from 
Northern California to the Central Coast. And let's just say it was a hot day, no AC. And uh, I went through a six pack of Coke that I had on the front seat before I even got out of the hills of Santa Cruz and Santa Cruz and Los Gatos. And uh, more specifically, I was bringing it from Los Gatos down here. And uh, my knees were pretty, You probably people that I would drive up on could see my knees on both sides of the steering wheel. That's cool, Mike. That's really cool. I like the look of that. Thanks. I really appreciate that. Uh-oh. Hot rod. Oh, this must be the reading material. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, wow. Is this a throwback or what? Let me move this up. Oh, there's the gloves to protect myself. <laughs> Damn, those are nice gloves. They're probably better gloves than anything I've got. Thanks, Mike. I think that should be it for in here. Yeah, okay. Let me move this out of the way. Rod and Custom, March 1957. Oh, that's great. Rod's Illustrated. Got to be about the same time. Oh, they even put a cutie in here. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure that was scantily dressed for the time. Oh, the J.C. Whitney ads. Man, I haven't seen a J.C. Whitney ad in years. Oh, Lord. Man, when I was a kid... I lived for the J.C. Whitney ads and all the stuff I wanted to buy out of that. That is so cool. Model A restoration manual. Wow, that's pretty cool, too. Oh, oops. Move that. That's cool. Model A instruction book. <laughs> How many instructions? Oh, okay. It's like repair stuff. And I, I was going to say, Man, how many instructions did a Model A have to drive it? There we go. Gear shift lever positions. Up and to the left is reverse. That left and down is low. Up and right is intermediate, and down and right is high. Yeah. That's, that's so cool. Thanks, Mike. I really appreciate this. And uh, well, stay tuned for more on the uh, soap and how it goes. <laughs> Thanks again, Mike.